Hello, and welcome back to Drupal and Panels. So far, we've talked about several ways that you can use panels to control the layouts of custom pages on your site, pages like your home page and landing pages. But sometimes it's useful to know how you can use panels to control the layouts of existing pages on your site. For example, this website has a bunch of different types of content, articles, basic pages, blog posts. And if we look at the way those pieces of content are displayed, We've got a sidebar on the left and the content itself on the right hand side. This is a fairly typical layout of content on a Drupal site. But let's say that our designer came to us with a new layout for the way articles should be displayed that involved dividing that content area into two columns. We'll have the article itself on the left hand side with a comment form in the comments on the right. It's pretty easy to do this with panels, but we're going to need to make use of the page manager module. We'll get there by going under the structure section of our menu to the pages list. This is to show, show us all of the pages that are currently being governed by page manager module. You can tell by the ones that are in black that only one of them is currently enabled, and that's the front page we built using panels. In this exercise, we're going to take over the node template to control the way existing nodes or pieces of content are shown on our Drupal site. We're going to do that by first enabling this template by clicking the Enable link on the right. You'll notice the color will change from gray to black. Then we'll go ahead and edit that template. The first thing you'll notice is that there are no variants provided by default. This means that if we were to look at our articles right now, they would still continue to display the way Drupal would normally have them display. But now we have the ability to add variants to take advantage of panels. We're going to go ahead and add a new variant here. And the first thing we're going to do is give it the name of article. We're going to set the variant type to panel, and we're definitely going to provide some selection rules. The selection rules are what are going to allow us to limit this variant to only apply to nodes that are type article. We'll click Create Variant and go ahead and add some selection criteria. In this list, we're going to be looking for node type, and we're going to limit that down to only article. We'll click Continue, and on the second step, we get to choose the layout for our panel. Because the layout our designer provided us with is a very straightforward two-column 50-50 layout, that layout is provided by panels, so we can select that from this interface and click Continue. The next step, the panel settings, is where you would normally choose to hide the sidebar if you didn't want to see a sidebar. In this case, we do want a sidebar in our article, so we're going to leave that box unchecked. This is also where we could choose to change the renderer. So if you thought editors for your site might want to rearrange the location of the comments or the comment form, we could let them change that here too by changing the renderer to the in-place editor. In this case, it makes more sense to leave it as standard since these won't be changing very often. So on the second step, we're just going to go ahead and click continue and go straight ahead to our panel content settings. On panel content, we're going to start by adding the content of our node. So we'll click on the cog wheel, top left hand side of our left side region, and click Add Content. The first thing you'll notice is that in the list of categories on the left, there's two new ones, Node and Node Tokens. These are both provided by Page Manager because we're already using the Node View template. Page Manager knows there's a bunch of new stuff it can provide to us because we're looking at a node. We're going to go ahead and add Node Content on the left hand side of this page. This is the equivalent of inserting your node.tpl.php file into your panel, but it gives you a bunch of settings so that you control how you'd like that content to appear. For starters, the most important thing to set on this form is the build mode down at the very bottom. It's set to teaser by default, but we want to change this to full content since we're actually looking at the page display of our node. It's also important to uncheck the box to link title to node, since we don't need the title of this node linking to the page we're already on. A couple other things to note is that the links are turned on for our node. This is great if you're using flags or service links, but if you don't want links to appear on your node, you can also turn them off here by unchecking this box. Another box that's checked by default is the no extras box. This will prevent the comments and comment form from coming out in the node area of your page. We're going to click finish to insert this content. And then we're going to go ahead and add the comments and comment form to the right hand side of the page. So again, the comment form is under the node category on the left hand side. And as we insert that, we've got options that will let us decide how we want that form to appear. 
We're going to add comments in the same way. It's also in the node category. And when we go to add node comments, it's important to redefine the settings that you may have already defined by content type. That means if we've told article comments to display as a flat list, we'll need to redefine that here. The same thing is true for the number of comments you'd like to see per page. They'll not be set correctly by default. We're going to go ahead and click finish, and now we've got our content on the left hand side, our comment form, and our comments on the right. So we're going to create the variant, save our changes, and then go and take a look at our article. You should notice that instantly you see a display of the article on the left, the comment form, and the comments on the right, but there are some things that are still incorrect. We've got a title of our node displaying twice here on the same page. Once is the page title, and once is the title of the content pane. So we're going to go back and edit this panel and make sure we turn off the title in the content pane. Structure, Pages, edit the node view template, and then we're going to choose the content tab of the article variant. In order to change those settings, you click on the cogwheel up top right of content pane and choose the settings link. The easiest way to remove a title from a content pane is to check the box to override the title and enter in the Drupal keyword none. This will prevent that title from being displayed on this pane. One thing to note here is that the title for our page is already being provided by our node, so we don't necessarily need to provide something here. But one thing that I like to do, just to keep everything consistent, is to change my panel so that it matches what's actually going on. So under Title Type, I'm going to change the title here from Manually Set to From Pane. This should instantly show you that the left side pane, node being viewed content, is providing the title for your page. It does that in two ways. It puts a border around this box to indicate that this one's more important than the other ones on the page. And also, if you click the cogwheel at the top right, there should be a new item in there that says Panel Title, and it shows a little check next to it indicating that this pane is providing the title for your whole page. I'm going to go ahead and update and save this and take a look at our article content again. Now you can see that we only have one title on our node, which is what we wanted. But before we sign off on this project, it's also good to make sure that this display is not taking over other types of content on our site as well. So we're going to go to our content list and check out what a blog looks like. As you can see, we still have the default display of content showing for blogs, meaning we've gotten everything working correctly. So now you've seen how to use panels to take over the display of existing pieces of content on your site. Stay tuned to see how you can use panels to create your own layouts in case the ones provided for you don't exactly fit your needs. Thanks a lot!